Shalom, Zio. Shalom, shalom. Shalom to the whole house of Yasharal. Shalom to the older brother, Yahuda, and the younger brother, Afrayim, and the stranger who has enjoined or engrafted to us, the former Gur, the former uh, Goyim, the former Gentile, the former Goy, uh, who was formerly um, part of the nations, uh, but now having engrafted into the Bayif of Yasharal, into the house of Yasharal, uh, has through Hamashiach, through Hanatsah, through the branch, become branches, and has indeed become a fellow citizen and an adopted son, and whereby privy to the same covenants and promise and inheritance that was given to the sons of Yaakov and the sons of Yaakov alone. Shalom, shalom to you worldwide on this yom. Zion, I come to you today with another warning, uh, with another warning from our Father. Uh, perhaps maybe a couple of months ago, uh, he spoke a warning through his servant, uh, through a video entitled, A Warning to Yasharal, Darkness Comes, Darkness Comes. When he spoke that warning through me, Zion, uh, I felt in my nefash, I felt in my inner man that that would not be the last warning, uh, that that would not be the last warning. Um, I'm under no illusion that everyone is going to listen. Uh, I'm not, I don't have that false illusion or that false expectation. Uh, who the warning is intended for, it is intended for. Uh, who it isn't intended for, it isn't intended for. Uh, not all are going to listen. Not all are going to take heed. Uh, many are going to continue to be distracted. Uh, many are going to continue to believe the illusions and the lies of this Babylonian system uh, that has been designed to keep us entrapped and enslaved and uh, uh, far away and distracted from Yahuwah, Yahuwah himself. Uh, it is a system that has been designed by Hashatan himself. And so many are going to continue to worry about LeBron, LeBron James's $154 million contract, which has no relevance. Uh, many are going to continue to uh, submit themselves to television programming. Uh, many are going to continue to submit themselves to uh, social media. Uh, many are going to continue to spend more time and social media than they are on the threshing floor before the feet of our kinsman redeemer. So I'm under no illusion that everybody's going to listen, that everybody's going to get this. I'm under no illusion that everybody understands the, uh, the, the season that we're in, that everyone understands the sensitive nature of the season that we're in, that uh, there is a conglomerate of things that are coming together all at once and things are speeding up at a downhill pace. Not everybody's going to get that. Not everybody's going to get that. Not everybody's going to understand where we are and that this is a very sensitive time, that this is a very sensitive season, that the world is perhaps more evil than it has ever been, even since before the time of the flood. It is even more evil than that time, and perhaps even more sinister things are in store for this world. Not many are going to get this. Not many are going to understand. But for the remnant, but for the remnant that this is meant for, for the small remnant that this is meant for, Yahuwah has another warning. He has another warning. Darkness indeed is coming. Darkness indeed is coming. It indeed is coming. Hollywood, Hollywood. Uh, it's no coincidence, many of you who understand truth, uh, you understand why Hollywood is called Hollywood. Uh, the wood of the holly tree is uh, what is used to make uh, magic wands for witches and warlocks and sorcerers. And many of you who awake understand that uh, there is literal incantations and sorcery coming out from Hollywood. Uh, they use it to enslave, to entrap, 
uh, to keep you enslaved to sin and bondage and to program you and to create hosts. We're going to get more into that. And to create host. To create host. They show us movies like uh, Pacific Rim. I don't know. Many of you may have seen this movie. Many of you may have not. Uh, but Pacific Rim is a movie uh, predicated on uh, uh, dimensional portals. Uh, dimensional portals being opened and uh, giants and monsters coming up uh, out of the deep. Uh, coming up through these dimensional portals uh, into uh, the natural dimension, the supernatural coming into the natural, uh, physical, or uh, material dimension and manifesting. Uh, Zion, uh, these are not just movies. These are not just movies. There are other dimensions and there are dimensional portals being open all the time, either by human sacrifice or animal sacrifice or uh, pouring out libations to these demons and invoking them and bringing them up out of the abyss, bringing them from uh, bringing them through dimensional portals into this reality, bringing them from the supernatural to the natural. In the previous video, it, the point was made that there is a thin veil. There is a veil that separates the natural from the supernatural. There is a veil. There is a physical veil. There is a partition, if you will. There is a separation that has been put in place that separates the natural from the supernatural. And in that previous video, the point was made that that veil, that that veil is growing thinner and thinner such that a time is coming when that veil is going to be torn and literal darkness is going to leave that realm and come into this realm. There is going to be an interdimensional invasion, an interdimensional invasion. And we're going to get to uh, we're going to get to scripture that proves this. These are not just my words. We're going to get to strip to scripture that proves that this is going to happen. That this is coming, that this is coming upon the earth, that darkness indeed is coming. Literal darkness indeed is coming. In previous videos, the point has been made that this is why I believe that uh, they are uh, spraying the skies with chemtrails because they are literally trying to block, block out the sun so that literal darkness comes upon the earth so that the, the reign of darkness has complete autonomy over this earth so that they have complete autonomy over this earth. But Azion, there is even a more sinister plan at work. There is a more sinister plan at work. You may have noticed by the video that this, the, the title of this video is the exact same title of the previous video uh, with the added statement that uh, as, as above, so below. As above, so below. Some of you have heard this. This is uh, a, a saying that is spoken in occultic circles. In occultic circles, occult meaning hidden. Occult meaning hidden. Hidden from the uninitiated. Uh, occult meaning hidden. Occult is derived from the word oculus. Oculus meaning eye. This is where the all-seeing eye comes from. Uh, oculus meaning eye. This is why the all-seeing eye is a symbol within occult circles. When the eye is open, the light of the sun shines through. The light of the sun shines through. Yes, this is all re it, it, it's all regarding sun worship. It's all about sun worship. When the eye, the oculus is open, the light of the sun shines through. And that light is known to the initiated only to the initiated. Uh, thus, this knowledge is esoteric knowledge. It's esoteric knowledge. It's hidden from the uninitiated, and it's only made known to the initiated or to those whom Yahuwah has given understanding to. To those whom Yahuwah has given understanding to. Nevertheless, when the eye is closed, 
The knowledge is hidden. The knowledge is hidden. Occult comes from the word oculus or eye, all seeing eye. When the eye is open, the light of the sun, knowledge, knowledge shines through. When the eye is closed, the light ceases. Uh, it is hidden. Uh, moreover, it is hidden anyway from the uninitiated. It is esoteric knowledge that is hidden from the uninitiated. Nevertheless, as above, so below. As above, so below. This is something that is mentioned within occult circles. Uh, it is esoteric knowledge to us. It is esoteric knowledge uh, to us. Uh, it was first mentioned, and I believe, excuse me, uh, if I uh, butcher the, the name, if I uh, say it incorrectly, but I believe it was first written in Hermetic writings, in the writings of uh, Hermetic or Hermetic writings. Um, I don't dabble into esoteric knowledge a lot because I rarely do I even dabble into esoteric knowledge because uh, it, it, it has no benefit to me. It has no benefit to us. Uh, we, we're not to uh, inquire about how they worship their mighty ones. Uh, we're not to even mention their mighty ones on our lips. Uh, Shaul declares that it's shameful to even talk about the works of darkness. So I don't dabble into the esoteric. So excuse me if I butchered where this uh, as above, so below comes from. I believe it comes from the Hermetic writings. Nevertheless, um, I believe Yahuwah has given me understanding now of what it actually means. I believe that Yahuwah has given me understanding, has given his servant understanding of what as, a, of, of what as above, so below actually means. And he sent his servant to warn those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And here's what he needs you to understand this day, Zion. Here is what Yahuwah needs us to understand. And that is that the earth was created to be an exact duplicate, a replica of the Shamayim. It was created to be an exact duplicate or replica of what exists in Shamayim. As above, so below. It was created to be an exact replica of Shamayim. As we read in scripture, there are beings in Shamayim that resemble animals. You see, nothing created here on the Eretz is a coincidence. It wasn't just created uh, out of Yahuwah's imagination. Uh, there were already beings in Shamayim that resemble uh, what's here on Eretz. Again, it was created to be an exact duplicate of what existed in Shamayim. Moreover, uh, he placed man who is created in his exact image, who is created in his exact image to govern uh, the earth, which, is, which, was, which was created to be an exact image of what existed in Shamayim. Uh, which, which, which was created to be a duplicate of what existed in Shamayim. And so he created a being, a man, a person, a human, uh, created in his exact image to govern that which was supposed to be a duplicate of what exists in Shamayim, of what exists in Shamayim. He placed us here. But since the fall of man, since the fall of man, ever since that time, that which was originally created to be a duplicate of what exists in Shamayim has been shaped little by little over the millennial uh, to resemble the kingdom of darkness, to resemble Hashatan as opposed to resembling Yahuwah as opposed to resembling Yahuwah. Little by little, little by little, good has been taken out of the earth. Little by little, he has been ciphering the good out of the earth. Little by little, he has been ciphering the light out of the earth 
and replacing it with darkness and replacing it with darkness, his image, Hashatan's image. Currently, there is still good in the earth. There is still good in the earth. You cannot live in the light. Uh, you cannot wake up at the dawn of, of, of day and look upon the sun, the Shemesh in Hebrew, which is the representation of the eternal light. It is not the eternal light, but it is the representation of the eternal light. And thus, Hashatan, who desires to raise his throne above the Shamayim and be a raise his throne above the throne of the Most High and be worshipped as the Most High is indeed being worshipped as the Most High through the Son, which is the representation of the eternal light. Yahuwah is the eternal light. Turah is the eternal light as Turah is the very nature, character, and essence of Yahuwah. It is Yahuwah. It is Yahuwah. Again, there is still good currently in the earth. Every day you wake up and you see the light of the sun. There is good in the earth, the representation of the eternal light. But again, there has been a strategic effort to block out the sun, to block out the light of the sun, so that darkness comes upon the earth, so that the earth is void of light, so that the earth, the earth is void of righteousness, so that the earth is void of good. There has been a strategic effort to slowly avoid the earth of all good to pervert the minds of mankind, to pervert the minds of mankind. They are doing this to what? To prepare hosts. They are doing this to prepare hosts. How are they perverting your minds? How are they trying to pervert our minds? They pervert our minds through religion, inclusive of Christianity. They pervert our minds through education. Uh, that's the, the edu this educational system, inclusive of higher learning, college, uh, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, doctorate degrees, this is all of this system. This is all of Hashatan. They are teaching in this system of lies, in this educational system, in this Babylonian system, they teach you, teach us Babylonian lies in order to equip us to perform in this Babylonian system. In order to teach us to perform and to get more addicted to this Babylonian system. Yah's education is Torah because it is our hakma, It is our understanding. It is our knowledge. Torah teaches us to uh, rightly divide the hakma or what is uh, commonly called wisdom. The hakma from Yah from the earthly, sensual, demonic wisdom of man. Torah is our education. Hence, it is written, uh, train up your child in the, way it should, in the way he or she should go. And when they're old, they will not depart. Train them up in what? In the instructions of Yah, in the education of Yah, in his Tahura, his righteous Tahura. So everything is perverted. Everything is demonic about this system. Everything that is taught about this system, everything that is promulgated in this system, whether or not it's promulgated through our uh, fake news, whether or not it has to do with athletics or sports, whether or not it has to do with religion, whether or not it has to do with music and entertainment, whether or not it has to do with television, whether or not it has to do with government and, and how they are perverting Yahuwah's righteous to rise with making same-sex uh, marriage legal and uh, making uh, uh, lesbianism a mainstay and uh, making uh, men lying with men a mainstay and making transgenderism a mainstay and making uh, so-called women's right a mainstay. This is all to, to pervert and control your mind so as to create a proper host. So as to create a proper host. A host for what? A host for what? They are doing this, Zion, to prepare the host, mankind, for invasion 
and our possession. Indeed, darkness comes. Darkness is coming upon the earth. An invasion of a demonic army is coming upon the earth and they are preparing the earth they has been they have been preparing the earth for thousands of years voiding it of life and one of their biggest success stories one of their biggest success stories has been christianity because christianity is the closest to the truth it is the closest to the truth and within christianity truth is hidden right in plain sight Christianity is whom Yahushua spoke about when he said many will come in my name. Who else is coming in his name besides Christians, even though they don't know his name? Many will come in my name. Many false Nabiim will come in my name, working false signs and wonders. This is whom he was talking about. Christians are waiting on these people to come, are waiting on this to be manifested when they are indeed the very ones whom they are waiting on. Christianity is the biggest deception. Christianity is the biggest lie that has been told by Hashatan. Christianity is his biggest success story. Christianity is the biggest mechanism by which he is preparing hosts for when this vast demonic army comes upon the earth and creates zombies and creates zombies because they have been prepared to be hosts from the inception. From the day that they were born, they have been prepared to be hosts. From, from the day of man's fall in the garden, over 6,000 years ago, this earth has been being prepared to be hosts, to be hosts for the mass demonic army that is coming upon the earth, that is coming upon the earth very soon, very soon. And here's what you need to understand. Again, they have been perverting your mind. They have been perverting your mind uh, such that now uh, uh, good is called evil and evil is called good. Such that now if you're a Christian, you no longer make a distinction between the clean and the unclean because they have lied to you and told you that Yah's righteous Torah is no longer in effect. Is no longer in effect. And thus you are unclean, thus you are filthy, thus you are profane and polluted, and you are a prime host to receive, to receive these demons when they come upon the earth. Here's what you need to understand. Unclean spirits need unclean vessels to dwell in. Unclean spirits need an unclean vessel to dwell in. The more unclean the vessel, the more unclean the more unclean spirits can dwell in that vessel. And if one is not making a distinction between the clean and the unclean, which is defined in Yah's righteous Torah, if you are not making this distinction, then you indeed are unclean. Then you are, then you are indeed prepared to be a host for these demons when they come upon the earth. You have been prepared to be a host. You are a perfect host. You are a perfect host. If you have been programmed by their television, by their movies, by their music, by their sports, by their religion, you have been prepared to be a host. And when these hordes of demons come upon the earth, you are not going to know what hit you. You are going to be a zombie. You are going to be a zombie. They are preparing hosts. For when the veil is torn, they are preparing hosts for when the veil is torn. Here's what you need to understand. They need you. They need us. They need us, Zion. Thus, they are preparing us for possession. Not us, but they're, they're trying to prepare mankind for possession. They need us. Why do they need us? Why do they need us? Because it is unlawful for them to operate in this realm without man. They must possess man. They must possess man and or attach themselves to an object that's in this realm. Hence, they attach themselves to idols. They attach themselves to amulets and amulets and, and other sorts of objects. They must attach themselves to something 
Otherwise, they are unlawful. Otherwise, they cannot lawfully exist in this realm. They need mankind. They need mankind to fulfill their desires. They need mankind to fulfill their desires. What do I mean? Uh, spirits of murder need to inhabit a host in order to carry out their desire to murder. Otherwise, they cannot carry out their desire to murder. They need a host to carry out their desire to murder. Spirits of witchcraft need a host in order to carry out uh, their desire to uh, practice forbidden sorcery and magic and divination. Spirits of lust need a host in order to carry out their desire to their desire to lust, to fulfill their desire to lust. They need a host. They need a host. And they have been preparing you through uh, indoctrination and in education. As long as you have lived, they have been preparing you to be a host for when the veil is torn and this vast demonic army comes upon the earth when darkness comes. They have been preparing you. They have no lawful right here. They need humankind. Likewise, likewise, they want to kill those of us who have the indwelling of the Ruach HaKadosh. Why? Because again, this realm, this earth was given to Adam, was given to mankind. Mankind has a legal right here. We have a legal right to rule this earth because Yahuwah gave it to us. We have a legal lawful right to be here. Hence, Yahuwah will not even come where he does not have a lawful right to be. Thus, in us, when he inhabits us, he has a lawful right to this earth. Thus, they want to kill us. They want to kill every true believer, every true believer who follows the righteous Torah of the Most High Yah and who has the witness of Yahusha HaMashiach and who has the indwelling of the Ruach HaKadosh. They want to kill us so that Yahuwah doesn't have a lawful right to this earth so that he does not have a lawful right to this earth. Hence, this is why Yahuwah came in flesh, so that he would have a lawful right to be here. This is why he came in flesh, so that he would have a lawful right to be here. Moreover, this is why he established the reign of, of Dawood forever. Why? Because, again, because he gave the million of this earth to man, then that means that his reign, his rule, had to be established in this earth through a man. It had to be established in this earth through a man. The sovereign of Yasharal was supposed to rule and govern as Yahuwah himself ruled and governed because he was a representation of Yahuwah sitting on the throne governing Yasharal because Yahuwah is the sovereign of Yasharal. Yahuwah is our sovereign. He and he alone is our sovereign. Thus a man was supposed to sit in his place and rule and govern as he governs. But only Dawood sat and ruled and governed as he rules and governed. Thus he established the throne of Dawood forever and ever and ever. And thus Yahuwah himself will sit on the throne that was established through Dawood in the earth forever and ever and ever and govern his people, Yasharal. He is a deck and he is lawful and he will not go where he has no lawful right to be. Thus they want to kill us so that uh, Yahuwah does not have a lawful right in this earth. They want to kill us. They want to kill us. And they want, all, the, all they want left on this earth are hosts. Our host. Those, have, those who have been beguiled, those who are not making a distinction between the clean and the unclean, as, be, at, as, as, as what Torah teaches us to do, uh, they, being that they reject Yah's righteous Torah and do not make a distinction between the clean and the unclean, they are polluted, they are profane, they are unclean, and they are primed to be hosts.
They are primed to be hosts. Hear me. They want to void the earth of all good. And you see it, Zion. You see it. This homosexuality agenda, this transgender agenda, uh, this lesbian agenda, bestiality and uh, uh, um, woman's right, women's right. This is all stra strategic. This is a tr strategic plan to void the earth of good and to program you, to program you to be a host. To program you to be a host. They want to void the earth of all good so that instead of the earth resembling Shamayim, the earth now resembles that which is below. As above, so below. The earth resembles Sheol. The earth resembles Sheol. And make no mistake. The earth has been primed for it. The earth has been primed for this. They, they have created multitudes of hosts that are ready and primed and ripe to be possessed and become zombies. They have little by little voided the earth of good so that now this world, this earth is more wicked than it has ever been. It is more wicked than even before the time of the flood. And soon, 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 darkness is coming upon the earth, such that as above, so below, so that Sheol is coming above, and darkness is coming upon the earth. Darkness is coming upon the earth. And a time is coming that if these days are not shortened, no flesh will remain. No flesh will remain. Again, they want to destroy Yahuwah's children so that he no longer has a lawful right here. They want to recreate the world so that it resembles Sheol and not Shamayim. This is what is going on. This is why they are, they are also trying to block out the sun so that literal darkness is upon the earth. Many of you have listened to previous videos. You understand that uh, darkness only exists because of Hashatan. There was no darkness before Hashatan. There is no darkness in Shamayim. It's only light. In fact, when Adam was in the garden, when he was in the garden of Adam, there was no darkness. There was only light. The bright esteem of Yahuwah shown in that garden as Adam had the very bright nature of Yah himself. He was created in the very image of Yah. So there was no darkness in the garden. Darkness is a result of Hashatan. The text declares that Yahuwah is light and in him is no darkness at all. There is no darkness in Shamayim. But they want to bring that darkness here so that they have complete autonomy over the earth because they have because they have authority over the darkness. They have authority over the darkness. Thus that veil, that veil is being torn. It is being torn through those, and, and, and there are people here on earth who are helping them to tear this veil. Research CERN, Research CERN located in Switzerland. They, are, they have people strategically placed working for them to help them, to help them uh, destroy the veil so that darkness, darkness literally comes upon the earth. And when that happens, those of you who are not making a distinction between the clean and the unclean, you are going to be host. You are going to be host. Why? So that they have a lawful right to this earth. So that they have a lawful right to this earth. So that they have a lawful right to it. So that they have a lawful right right to it. They want to literally bring the darkness of Sheol to this earth. They want to bring a living darkness to the earth. Sheol is a living darkness. It is alive. Just as the light is alive, darkness is alive. They want to bring living darkness to the earth. 
However, they still need human hosts in order to have, again, a lawful right here. So in preparation of the veil being torn and shield coming to earth, they must prepare their hosts. They've been slowly doing this for thousands of years. And the time is now ripe. The world is, again, more wicked than it has ever been. Very few now make a distinction between the clean and the unclean. And again, I must, I must, I must reemphasize this. The Christian church has accepted the lie that they don't have to obey to rob. They are the, the main mechanism by which this, this lie is promulgated. They are the ones that Yahusha spoke about that many will come in my name uh, performing false false signs and wonders. The Christian church is the biggest success story of Hashatan because it is the closest to the truth. There are over 4 billion Christians in the earth. There are only 7 billion people on the earth and there are 4 billion Christians on the earth. 4 billion of them. 4 billion hosts. 4 billion hosts who refuse to make a distinction between the clean and the unclean. And thus they have been primed and prepared to be hosts for the world below. Mass demonic possessions will happen when this veil is torn. The world above will be as the world below. But some good will remain even then. Some good will remain even then, as Yahuwah will still have a remnant of offspring left who give him a lawful right to this earth. But there will be very few, very few who obey the light, who follow his righteous Torah, who have the witness of Yahusha HaMashiach, and who obey the light and who and who obey the light and who have the witness of Yahusha HaMashiach. This is a very small remnant. A very small remnant. I don't want to make this video too long, but this warning needs to go forth. This warning needs to go forth. A couple of days ago, two or three, maybe four days ago, my wife and I, we were talking and we were noticing how it appeared that the days were speeding up. That uh, daylight. It, it, there, there should be more daylight. It should be out longer, but instead, even after the summer solstice, uh, it appeared that the days were speeding up. It appeared that the days were speeding up. And we couldn't put our finger on it, but this is what was placed in our nufash that the days are actually, they're speeding up. And so a couple of days ago, Yahuwah gave me scriptural reference to prove that the days are in fact speeding up. Time, Zion, is speeding up. Time is speeding up. How many of you know that time is continual? There is a continual motion of time. There, is a, there was a set time when time began, and there is a set time when time ends. And the earth, ever since the fall, a clock started and time started and time started. Six, six days has a man to work. 6,000 years has a man to work. And on the seventh day, on the 7,000 year, the thousand year millennial rest, he will rest for a day. On the last great day, on the eighth day, on the 8,000th year, time will stop. Time will cease. There will be no more time. So time is continual. When you die, time for you stops. It stops. My wife, uh, over a year ago, uh, was choking on a piece of steak. She was choking. And Yah threw me, delivered her by uh, the, the Heimlich maneuver. And I had no idea. I'd never done it before. I've taken first aid before, but I'd never actually put it into practice. And Yah threw me, delivered her from that steak that was lodged in her throat. I wasn't worried, neither was she worried afterwards because she has a purpose. Yah has a plan for her and not until that purpose and that plan is fulfilled will she leave this earth. But Yah used that to show her how time works. 
she related to me afterwards that uh, as she was choking, time began to slow down, slow down to a crawl. It began to slow down. You see, this is what happens when you die, because when you die, time stops. It ceases. But at, when we're alive, it continues to go. It continues. It is a continual movement. And it is continuing to move towards the appointed time and times that Yahuwah has established for raft, for the millennial reign, and for the last great day. Everything in Yah has a time. Everything in Yah has an appointed time, and time is continuing until we get to those appointed times. But how many of you know that time has speeded up? Time is hastening toward those times. Time is hastening toward that veil being torn. Time is hastening, but time is hastening toward those demons, that demon horde coming upon the earth, creating havoc upon the earth, and invading and possessing those hosts that have been prepared for them. That have been prepared, prepared for them. As we read in 2 Baruch, the 20th chapter, verse 1 through 6, it reads, Therefore, behold, the days come, and the times, hear me, shall hasten more than the former shall hasten more than the former and the seasons shall hear me speed on more than those that are past and the years shall pass more quickly than the present years than the present years time is speeding up zeal time is speeding up and we are hastening toward that time when that veil is torn and darkness comes upon the earth. We are right up against the door, Zion. We are right up against the door. But many of you are too distracted with LeBron James's contract. Many of you are too distracted with the, the show power. Many of you are too distracted uh, with what's going on on Facebook, what's going on on your time feed. Many of you are too distracted with your jobs. Many of you are too uh, ate up with your lust. Many of you are too ate up with the lies of this system to pay attention to what is even at the door, to what is even coming upon the earth right now in this season. Time is speeding up. We are literally out of time. Open your eyes. Open your ears and go down to the threshing floor. Time is speeding up. And we are literally at the season where this veil is getting ready to be torn and darkness is coming upon the earth. It goes on to read, therefore have I now taken away Zion that I may the more speedily visit the world in its season. Now therefore hold fast in your heart everything that I command you and seal it in the recesses of your mind. And then I will show you the judgment of my might and my ways which are unsearchable. Go therefore and sanctify yourself seven days. And eat no bread, nor drink water, nor speak to anyone. And afterwards, come to that place, and I will reveal myself to you, and speak true things with you, and I will give you commandment regarding the method of the times, for they are coming, hear me, and tarry not. And tarry not. They are not delayed. They are coming, and they are not delayed. What are we, what are we hastening toward? What are we hastening towards? Again, in 2 Baruch, the 25th chapter, uh, verse 1 through 4, it reads, and he, answered and, he, and, he, and he answered and said unto me, You too shall be preserved to that time, to that sign which all Ayun will work for the inhabitants of the earth in the end of days. This therefore shall be the sign when a stupor shall seize the inhabitants of the earth. Do you see the stupor Zion? Do you see the stupor? Many who will listen to this video are in a stupor and all they're going to do is disregard it. All they're going to do is uh, say he's just some tin hat, he's some conspiracy theorist and they're not going to pay attention because they're in a stupor. Because they are in a stupor. Many are not going to pay attention. They're going to go right back to television 
They're going to go right back to this demonic music. They're going to go right back to the demonic movies. They're going to go right back to placing their owners in this false, fake, Babylonian educational system and their jobs that are soon to go away and their fake fiat currency that, that is not worth the, the paper that is printed on. And they're not going to listen because they're in a stupor. They're in a stupor. And they shall fall into many tribulations. And again, when they shall fall into great torments. And it will come to pass when they say in their thoughts by reason of their much tribulation. Ah, Allahim no longer remembers the earth. Yea, it will come to pass when they abandon expectation that the time will then awake. 2 Baruch 26, 1. And I answered and said, will that tribulation which is to be continue a long time? And will that necessity embrace many years? To Baruch 27, 1 through 15. And he answered and said unto me, Into twelve parts is that time divided, and each one of them is reserved for that which is appointed for it. In the first part there shall be the, there shall be the beginning of commotions, and in the second part there shall be slayings of the great ones, and in the third part the fall of many by death, and in the fourth part the sending of the sword. And in the fifth part, famine and the withholding of rain. And in the sixth part, earthquakes and terrors wanting. Hear me. And in the eighth part, a multitude of spectres. Of spectres. We can see spectres in the sky right now where the moon is out of order, where it is, where it is appearing during the daytime more than I have ever seen it before. And the days are speeding. The days are speeding up. It seems as though it's the sun, as soon as the sun comes up, it goes down. We are seeing specters. We're seeing specters in Shamayim. And in the eighth part, a multitude of specters, and hear me, listen. And attacks of the sh and attacks of the Shadi'im. And attacks of the Shadi'im. Shadi'im is the Hebrew word for demonic spirits. Demonic Ruachov. Oh, they come in Zion. That veil is thin and it's almost transparent. And that wall of separation is almost non-existent. It is going to be torn, Zion. And demonic hordes are coming upon the earth. And if you have been prepared to be a host, if you are not making a distinction between the clean and the unclean, again, unclean spirits need an unclean vessel to dwell in. And so if you are clean, if you are making a distinction between the clean and the unclean and following Yahuwah's righteous Torah, then they have no right to you, especially if the set apart spirit dwells in you because they cannot dwell where he is. That vessel must be empty, even if it is clean. If he is not in there, then they still have a right to come into that vessel. Nevertheless, if the vessel is clean, they have no right to it. They must have an, they must have an unclean vessel in order to dwell. Unclean spirits need an unclean vessel. They love uncleanness. This is why Yahuwah commands us to make a distinction between the clean and the unclean. And so if you are not making a distinction between the clean and the unclean, talking about we're no longer under Torah, talking about it, it has been nailed to the tree, then you have been primed to be a host for when these Shediyin, these demonic ruach cults, come up from the abyss when the veil is torn and the darkness of Sheol literally comes upon the earth. Nevertheless, and in the ninth part, the fall of fire, and in the tenth part, raping and much oppressing, and much oppression and in the 11th part wickedness and unchastity and in the 12th part confusion from the mingling together of all those things aforesaid for these parts of that time are reserved and shall be mingled one with another and minister one to another for some shall leave out some of their own and receive in his stead from others and some complete their own and that of others so that these may not understand who are upon the earth in those days that this is the consummation of the times. That this is the consummation of the times. Many indeed do not understand the season that we're in. Many indeed do not understand what is soon to come upon the earth. 
This is mentioned again here in Hazun, Revelation, the ninth chapter, that this heart of demons, Zion, is coming upon the earth. In Hazon 9, verse 1 through 11, it reads, And the fifth messenger sounded, and I saw a star, a coca beam, a messenger of what is commonly called angel, a principality from the Shamayim, which had fallen to the earth, and the key to the pit of the deep was given to him. And he opened the pit of the deep, and smoke went up out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun was darkened, also the air because of the smoke of the pit. And out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth, and authority was given to them as the scorpions of the earth possess authority. And it was said to them that they shall not harm the grass of the earth or any green matter or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal, the seal, the mark, the name of Elohim upon their foreheads. The Shabbat Yom is a sign forever between Yahuwah and his people. It is the first testimony that identifies Yahuwah as the Elohim of creation. It is the first testimony that identifies Yahuwah's people as his people. Because when we guard it, we are indeed saying that you, Yahuwah, and you alone are the Elohim of creation. Nevertheless, but only those men who do not, and it, and it was said to them that they shall not harm the grass of the earth or any green matter or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of Elohim upon their foreheads, their name, his name, his name, his name upon their foreheads. And it was given to them that they should not kill them, but to torture them for five months. And their torture was like the torture of a scorpion when it stings a man. And in those days, men shall seek death and shall not find it. And they shall long to die, but death shall flee from them. And the locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. And on their heads were crowns like gold. And their faces were like the faces of men. And they, and they had hair like women's hair. And their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like the breastplate breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses running into battle and they have tails like scorpions and stings and in their tails is the authority to harm men five months and they have over them a sovereign the messenger of the pit of the deep whose name is hebrew is abaddon but in greek his name is apollyon apollyon or Apollos, Apollos. You want to guess where CERN is located? CERN is located on a vacated temple of Apollos. Uh, it is believed in occult circles that Apollos, the temple of Apollos, was built right over the abyss, right over, right over Sheol right over the abode of the dead. It is believed that this is where uh, the temple of Apollos was built. And CERN, not by coincidence, is planted right above, right on the site where a temple of Apollos or Apollyon once existed. Darkness is coming upon the earth. Darkness is coming upon the earth. Teshuba, Teshuba. Repent, the reign of Yahuwah is near. Darkness is coming upon the earth. Repent from what? Repent from sin. What is sin? Transgression of Yahuwah's righteous to rob. In accordance with 1 John, the third chapter, the fourth verse. Repent, Teshuvah, the reign of Yahuwah draws near. Repent, Teshuvah, the reign of darkness is coming upon the earth. And if you are not walking in Yahuwah's righteous Torah, then you are polluted, you are profane, you are unclean, and you are ripe. You are ripe to be a host for when these demons come upon the earth. Go down to the threshing floor. Go down to the threshing floor. Spend time at the feet of our kinsman redeemer on the threshing floor and allow him to beat the chafe out of you where, whereby there is nothing left but wheat in you. Allow him to cover you with his garment and choose you as his beloved and choose you 
as his Aisha, as his bride, as his wife. Go down to the threshing floor. Turn over your plate. Turn off these televisions. Turn off these televisions and every form of demonic entertainment. Every form of demonic news source. Turn off these sources. Turn off every entrance point by which these demons come in and pollute you. And set yourself apart to the Most High Yah. And set yourself apart to the Most High Yah. Repent. Come back to Tahura. So that the set apart spirit can fill you. So that the set apart spirit can fill you. Be clean, Zion. Be clean in this season. Be clean, Zion. Be clean in this season. Make a distinction between the clean and the unclean. Touch not the unclean thing. Wherefore, come out from among them. Be ye separate. Touch not the unclean thing, and he will receive us. Be clean in this season. Set yourself apart to the Most High Yah. Go down to the threshing floor so that your cackle, so that the heckle of Yah is clean and prepared to receive the set apart spirit of the Most High Yah. Be clean. Set yourselves apart. Make a distinction between the clean and the unclean. Time is hastening. Time is hastening along. The veil is almost torn. Masses. Masses, masses of people have been prepared to be hosts, whereby giving these horde a legal right to be here, to operate, to operate in this realm, to operate in this realm, to operate in this realm. By the way, uh, the demons that came up that are coming up and going to sting people, I believe that these are separate from the horde that is coming up that are going to possess people, that are going to possess people. In accordance with the book of Yobelin, uh, a tenth of the disembodied spirits of Nephilim were left on the earth under the subjection of the prince of this world, who is spelled, whose name is spelled M-A-S-T-E-M-A. -E and a ninth of them were locked up until the end times, a ninth of them. And so I do not believe that these coming up with the tails of scorpions are the ninth of them. It's part of the ninth of them. It's part of the ninth of them. Set yourself apart. Be clean so that you do not fall prey and become a host and become a host. You have been warned again. You have been warned again. Go down to the threshing floor. Set yourself apart. Turn over your plate. Fast. Pray. Meditate. Go down to the threshing floor where we are chosen. Where we are chosen as his beloved. Where we are chosen as his bride. Where our kinsman redeemer redeems us and covers us with his blanket. Shalom.